Hey guys, welcome back to Animotion. In this tutorial today, we're gonna learn how to do animated grain texture. And it's a really popular style amongst motion graphic designers. So I'm gonna teach you how to do that. And now I have two different techniques. The first one is what I call dissolve. Second one is roughen edges. So they're both pretty similar, but they just have different options and controls. I'll just show you this dissolve first. So basically we want to create a shadow on this yellow circle which is the body layer and let's just create solid so new solid and create a black solid for shadow name that shadow bring that just above your body layer and then we want to look for set mat on the effects and presets and drop that on your shadow set your mat to your body now let's create a mask on this shadow layer and just basically create shadows um, using your pen tool and then add feather by hitting F on your keyboard add feather 100 and then change the mode from normal to dissolve you got your grain texture um, but obviously the grain texture doesn't move and we want to animate that so in order to animate that you have to use this thing called turbulent displace so drop that onto your shadow now obviously it goes over your yellow circle so basically you just want to put your set mat underneath your turbulent displays and that will just fix that now in order to animate that we want to go under evolution options and go to random seed and create expression by holding alt and click on that stopwatch icon and we want to use time expression and type in time times 10 now let's play it now your grain texture is animating but obviously the animation is a bit too much in order to reduce that we just want to reduce the size of the turbulent displays so i'm just gonna try 25 and see how it looks yeah the size is much smaller so it looks a bit better but i just feel like the amount is still a bit too much so maybe i'll turn down the amount to 25 as well and that feels much better yeah, so that's how you create grain texture using the dissolve. It's pretty easy. Now, we wanna try do the rough and edges technique. So let's go in there. Pretty much do the same thing. Create solid, black solid. Name that shadow. Whoops, shadow. Put that on top of your body layer. And then look for set mat. Drop onto your shadow layer, set it to your body layer. Um, let's create a mask again on your shadow layer. And set the feather to 100 again. Now, under your effects and presets, I want you to look for roughened edges. Drop that on. And then basically it, it already create um like a texture but you want to make it more noisy right more grainy so basically all you have to do is to turn down the scale from 100 to 10 and there you already have your grain texture basically here i want to do is just to spread out the grain a bit more so basically i'm just gonna turn up the mask feather okay maybe a bit too much yeah looks a bit better the good thing with rough and edges is that you have more control. Like for example, you can make the grain texture blurry like this, but you can also make it a bit sharper. So you can turn up the edge sharpness to three, for example, and you already make the um, grain texture more sharper. I'm just gonna turn up the max feather a bit here. Yeah. Now I also wanna add the border. So I'll show you what it does. The border is just kind of like choking the edge of your shadow so it just kind of like give give it a little bit of extra um, highlight kind of thing on the edge of your character and okay so I, I quite like that look but we want to animate this right so it's basically the same just underneath evolution options create an expression on random seed type in time 10 and yeah there you go now if we go back to the main com and let's compare this so basically they're pretty similar the only thing is that you can you have more control on the rough and edges you can um 
scale up fractal noise and you can you know create border you can sharpen your shadows whereas dissolve it's pretty much the style is set so it's really up to you um, which one you like the most but I personally like the rough edges better all right now I'm gonna just like add a little bit of highlight on each of the character And here you go, you have two of the same characters with slightly different grain texture. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoy this tutorial and I hope you find this useful. And if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments down below. Thanks guys!